The funeral of Her Majesty the late Queen Elizabeth II is considered to be one of the biggest events in the history of the country. Hundreds of invitations were sent to head of the states, who will be accompanied by Queen's friends and family. Family. The late Queen Elizabeth's son and now King Charles will be accompanied by Camilla, the Queen Consort. His siblings Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward with their spouses including Sarah Ferguson, Prince Andrew's ex-wife. Queen's grandchildren including Prince William and Prince Harry, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, Zara Tyndall, Peter Phillips, Lady Louise Windsor, James, Viscount Seven with their spouses will also attend the funeral. Earl Spencer who is Princess Diana's brother, who is the late Queen's godson and Prince William and Harry's uncle will attend accompanied by Prince and Princess Michael of Kent and Duke and Duchess of Kent. Friends of the Queen Many ladies were honoured with Queen's friendship for decades and they are invited to the funeral as well. Lady Susan Hussey who is Prince William's godmother started working for the Queen in 1960. She accompanied the Queen to the funeral of Prince Philip in 2021. Dame Mary Morrison who remained by the Queen's side even after recovering from a broken ankle in 2018 at the age of 81. Liverpool-born daughter Angela Kelly who served as late Queen's assistant and senior dresser for 30 years. John Warren, an advisor, racing manager and late Queen's friend will also attend the event. In 2013 he was seen celebrating with the Queen in the Royal Box at Ascot when Her Majesty's horse estimate won the Gold Cup. Former Formula One world champion, Sir Jackie Stewart, who was to visit Queen before her demise is also expected to attend the funeral. Sir David Attenborough and the Queen were born only a few weeks apart and had worked together on many occasions. He is also expected to attend the ceremony among close friends of the late Queen. European Relatives Many of the late Queen's blood relatives are expected to attend the funeral including Belgium's King Philippe and Queen Mathilde, with King Willem Alexander of the Netherlands and his wife Queen Maxima, along with his mother former Dutch Queen Princess Beatrix. King Felipe and Queen Letizia of Spain will also attend along with royal families of Norway, Sweden, Denmark and Monaco. Other royal families all around the globe will attend the event including Emperor Naruhito and Empress Mosoko of Japan as well as the King of Bhutan Jigm Kesar Namgyal Wangchuk. Other crowned heads including Sultan of Brunei, Hassan Ol Bolkiah Jordan's King Abdullah Crown Prince of Kuwait Sheikh Meshal Al Ahmad Al Sabah King of Lesotho Letsi III and Hereditary Prince Alois of Liechtenstein. Royal leaders from Luxembourg, Malaysia, Morocco, Oman, Qatar and Tonga are also expected. Commonwealth leaders. Queen has served as the head of the Commonwealth states during the entirety of her reign. The Commonwealth leaders will attend the funeral including Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese who has arrived in the UK prior to the funeral New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau will also attend the ceremony. Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina Indian President Drupadi Murmu have reached London and will attend the funeral with Sri Lankan President Ronil Wickremesinghe. Other world leaders. US President Joe Biden with First Lady Jill Biden arrived in London on Saturday and will attend the ceremony. Other world leaders include Irish Tisha Michael Martin and President Michael Higgins, German President Frank Walter Steinmeier, Italian President Sergio Mottarella and French President Emmanuel Macron. Chinese President Xi Jinping received an invitation but was later criticized by MPs due to the reason of Chinese government's treatment with the Uyghur minority. Moreover Chinese were banned from attending Queen's lying in state at the Westminster Hall. This might have led China to send Vice President Wang Qishan to attend the funeral instead of President Xi Jinping. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince and de facto ruler, Mohammed bin Salman was also expected to visit. But criticism on his involvement in Jamal Khashoggi murder in 2018 and Hartis Cngis, the fiancé of the murdered Saudi journalist said, should not be allowed to stain the Queen's memory and use this time mourning to seek legitimacy and normalization. Earlier confirmed by the Saudi embassy but later it was decided MBS will not attend the funeral. The old adversary of the UK, the Islamic Republic of Iran will represent the country at ambassadorial level. Not invited. Ever since Russia's invasion in Ukraine. UK and Russia relations have taken a nose dive. Russia is one of the countries who were not sent any invite. Moscow reacted by saying that they were not considering to attend the funeral. Since the Russian invasion partially began from the territory of Belarus, 
UK has decided not to invite them either. Similarly UK has stepped back with Myanmar and did not send the invite mainly because of the military coup happened there last year. North Korea and Nicaragua have been invited to send only ambassadors but not heads of state whereas Syria, Venezuela and Afghanistan were not invited at all. Where many countries will feel honoured, some will ponder over their future with the UK. Billions of pounds worth weapons were purchased by Saudi Prince Mohammed bin Salman not long ago trade with China produced 93.4 billion pounds in the four quarters to the end of Q1 2022. Similarly Russia was the UK's 20th largest trading partner in the four quarters to the end of Q1 2022.